Hey, Steph, how's it going? Um, so a couple months ago, I made a decision that I, I knew was really bad when I made it, but I did it anyway. So a little bit of background, I'm an EMT in a pretty busy area. We do like the emergency calls, but we also do inter-facility transport, so taking people between hospitals, psych wards, things like that. And we have pretty long transport with um, a woman who went into the hospital overdosing, made some comments on killing herself, so she was getting an hour away to uh, like a psych ward. And she was pretty hot. And <laughs> oh, my we, God. Um, we kind of hit it off. In the back I think of they the said, are you calling in? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's see where this goes. I mean, this is insane. I know what you're thinking. I had no intentions of dating this woman, but like that, we were vibing. So I took her Snapchat at what? the end of the Whoa. the end of the ride, and like she was posting me on her Snapchat like the whole time too. It was it was oh kind of funny. God, I know this so is pretty crazy. unethical, right? I'm not supposed to be hitting on our patients uh, but you know I did and so she spent between like rehab and being in a psych ward for like this? a I'm month sorry. or so She's at her yeah, lowest I know point. man I, I know I'm not supposed to <laughs> I know, you know it's the worst thing you could do <laughs> she's at her most vulnerable yeah, she's I've losing her drugs. mind <laughs> I've got access to drugs I decided if she lives or dies I could send her to jail <laughs> off my word alone yeah. but I did it anyway but hey uh, she uh, was uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's let's see what this. I mean, this. Let's see how this ends. In like a month or so, um, she hit me up when she got out, and she lived like thirty minutes from me. So oh I spent like the weekend at her apartment. We hooked up, all that. Uh, There's nothing serious though. Oh, nothing like, serious. We weren't though. talking yeah. about like dating or anything like that. We just we're kind of vibing. Um, this is insane. And after We're that, vibing, we, so that's good. You know, we would text back and forth a little bit here and there, but not really talking that much. Um, you At some her. point, she started using drugs again, and I got a phone oh, call. Oh, she, it's, she, it's her fault. <laughs> yeah. Well, at some point, this drug addict let me down. Anyway, you're a fucking piece of shit, but let's, fit, let's finish this. <laughs> and I got a phone call about, like, 2 a.m. one day. Um, she was, like, geeked out of her mind and told me that, like, her friend overdosed because... Some drug dealer sold her some bad H, um, and she asked me to help her kill this guy. Whoa! Um, oh my god! I kind of set some boundaries right there. Like, yeah, I uh, set some I'm boundaries. <laughs> what are you? You're way past therapy, speak, dickhead. You <laughs> fucked an insane woman. You fucked an insane woman. You met in the back of your ambulance, fresh out of rehab. She and had you, nowhere and else to go. Yeah, yeah. She's wearing Velcro shoes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and you know, I just wanted to set some realistic expectations with right. her as she was down a K hole. This, anyway, this is. I mean, this is insane. Is Keep going. Uh, Jonah Hill. <laughs> What's that? God. Jonah Hill. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, set some boundaries. Yeah, 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 yeah. Set some boundaries. You need to stop taking pictures with guys because it's messing with my <laughs> yeah my goals. Yeah. <laughs> what, dude? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, hundred. I mean, this is insane. Keep going, Elders. I kind of set some boundaries right there. Like, yeah, I uh, I'm not a killer. Like, I, I don't think I should be talking to you anymore. Um. Hung up now. Now that he busted her, a couple of nuts, he shouldn't talk to I have to been her. like ignoring all her texts and chat Snapchats, and she's clearly on a bender. Um, yeah, like when you met, and just <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, now time. she is. She yeah. parties. So let me just. So the amount of time you've known this woman, she has been. <laughs> you met her when she was so suicidal. They took her from a regular hospital to a psych ward. Yeah. Then she was in rehab for three months then one weekend she you fucked her and then the next week she went crazy so there was a total of two days in which she didn't seem crazy and they happened to just coincidentally be the days you could fuck her <laughs> interesting the how that how convenient that, that was good if he's not willing to kill for i it. know that yeah <laughs> what if he was like so yeah there's blood on my hands so right anyway now. I'm calling um, from a payphone stop do you, what are the non-extradition countries <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in Ecuador. <laughs> <laughs> All right, keep going, Elders. This is this is clearly on a bender, um, and just we past couple of days been blowing up my phone, um, 
And now I'm kind of concerned about <laughs> her blowing up my spot at work. <laughs> like, like, this isn't, huh. it wasn't illegal, but it's definitely oh. highly frowned upon. <laughs> oh, oh my god! I'm get ahead of this before it, you know, starts affecting my career. Oh. Thank you very much. Have a good day, Tom. God, <laughs> you deserve whatever happens to you. Yeah, yeah. What are you out of your fucking mind? <laughs> How do you get ahead of it? Hey, boss, just so you know. Remember that chick with the rock and cans who came yeah. in? Yeah. Remember the yeah. 5150? Yeah. Yeah. We won 6950. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so her brain's broken in half, and now she wants me to kill a guy. So she's lying. She says she's got this fantasy about having sex with me. Yeah, but and I think she know. needs to go to the <laughs> mental hospital forever. Yeah. So she's been making a lot of stuff up. I think we should probably just lobotomize her before she does any more. You can't you trust these women. You know how it is, boss. You got any of those shock collars left over from the dog thing? Well, she I mean, needs one. This guy literally, I mean, this guy, if this were the 50s, would literally have this woman lobotomized. Oh, yeah. So that he could get a, a promotion. Yeah, they probably um, fuck the whole. You're a piece of shit. You're a moron. You complete, I mean, this is crazy. What you did was insane. Not expecting there to be this kind of blowback is naive. You know it was unethical. Um, I just like, dude, it's one thing to fuck a woman who's insane and on a bender who, who uh, you know, who hasn't done that, yeah. right? But to do that when you're the paramedic you're that's the taking UT. her to the fucking mental hospital <laughs> uh -huh. yeah. and, and what you're worried about is not... Is she going to commit murder? Is she going to kill she, herself? Is she going to kill herself? Yeah, is her yeah. friend, did Why her friend die? Am I going to lose my benefits? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on a pretty stellar track <laughs> at St. Agnes, and I can't really lose that right now. Um, yeah, dude. <laughs> they were letting I, me drive the truck. <laughs> I have literally no advice for you. Yeah. I wipe my hands of this. <laughs> You're a piece of shit. I, and I bet the pussy was pretty good good and was it worth it well you know well like that yeah girl interrupted pussy yeah 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 oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah this uh, woman in sweats i want nothing to do with this next question elders 